Hi Crafty Cuties, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I'm Jessica. Welcome to the Crafty Cutie family. I am really cheesy and I like to craft and I like long walks on the beach. I don't know. Anyways, we're just here to make some DIY embellishments. We are going to make fall embellishments. I thought it would be fun to change it up. I've been doing a lot of Halloween videos so this will be really fun. I hope that you join along. If you just want to see the final product, if you want to see these ones close up along with the ones that we're going to make in today's video, you can definitely fast forward and check that out. I'll have a timestamp listed below so that you can see the final product and maybe just get ideas from that. Everyone learns differently. And really quick, I'll just give you a little peek of one way that I actually like to use these layered embellishments on my scrapbook layouts. This is one that I made right here and this is my October daily. So let's hop in and I'll show you what you need. So as you can see, I have stuff all around me and I'm keeping that in the shot so that you can kind of see the different things that I'm pulling from. Before we get started, I want to quickly go over a few guidelines that I think are important for creating um, layered embellishments. Now, I want to be clear and let you know that I don't think that these guidelines are things that you have to follow. I don't think in crafting or making embellishments you ever have to follow rules, and I there are no rules in crafting, but these are guidelines just to help if you're feeling like you get stuck making embellishments or if you're new and you want some guidelines to go by. So, um, the first is to choose a base. So for this one you can see the base is going to be the larger circle. So when I'm setting all my things out, that is one of the things that I have in a pile. I have tags for a base. I have circles, I have some little um, flags like so, and I have some doilies. So your base can be anything you want. Those are just some things that I like to use, and I like the base to be the biggest piece in my embellishment. You could even use a one and a half inch circle for your base, it really doesn't matter. So the second thing is to choose a second shape. So for instance, let's say we chose the circle for a base, for the second piece in this, I'm going to choose something that's not a circle. So that gives you a lot of possibilities. Um, so for instance, let's say I'm going to choose this piece right here. It's kind of like a scalloped, um, a scalloped piece or this piece right here. And so um, the second thing that I have in my piles here are all types of different shapes and cutouts. I have scallop circles, a bunch of punches, just a ton of punches. Okay, so then the third thing is going to be choose a new texture. So, so far both of these are paper texture. So I like to add a different piece of texture and here are a few things, that, examples I guess. Um, these flowers have different texture. These leaves do because they're, you know, fabric. I have some gold thread. Um, I'm saying um a lot. We have crepe, crepe paper that's perfect for embellishments, ribbon, um, I have some tool here that's very sparkly, so things like that. Um, washi tape would work as well. So let's go ahead and we will just rip some of this off right here. I'll actually create this embellishment after we're done and then we'll get going and make a bunch together. Okay, so number four is to pick out either a sentiment, something you know with a quote or a word on it, uh, an image, so like it could be a picture, you know, like a sticker or something like that, or a die cut. So basically pick one of those. Now, also keep in mind, you are not limited to this number of things. We can absolutely add more. This is just going to give us something to work off of, and then I like to add more in. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to choose to add a sentiment. Now, I cut out a ton of these from a Michaels um, paper pad. I do this a lot for embellishments. I'll cut up different cut aparts, but I'm always looking for other things that are smaller. I'm just going to grab that one real quick and that kind of brings us to um, the next one. Oh, I did want to show you. So I have here some other cut aparts that I have and I have to get my camera to focus every time I show you guys something new. I also have stickers which make this very quick and easy and then I also have some stamps, but the one stamp I really like it says uh, happy fall. Oh my gosh, my cat is ruining my life. Not really. Okay, number five, 
add bling, glitter, or color. So I have a bunch of things here. So for bling, I have like these little jewels. Um, what else did I say? Bling, I said glitter. I have some stickles, but you could use, you know, all kinds of glitter or some type of color. And for color options, I have these Nouveau Drops and I have ink. I would say that ink's probably one of my favorite ways to add color. I'm going to leave this over here and that's what we will choose for this. So then on top of that, I say kind of start putting these together and just don't overthink it really. Um, I am going to use a mini attacher to attach everything. I like the look of that. Um, you could sew these together. I actually filmed a sewn embellishment video for you guys and the clips turned out horrible. I don't know, something was wrong, I don't know. So I don't have it anymore, but you can see I'm just talking and putting these together. I'm, I'm really not thinking about it too much. So we're gonna go like that. And remember I said that you can always add more as you go. So I'm thinking I'm going to just grab this piece right here. This is a punch. And I did pre-punch all this stuff. Um, I don't think that that's something to, that should be done just because I'm filming a video. I think that if you're making DIY embellishments, it's a great idea to prep your things um, ahead of time. I really think that it makes a lot of difference. So I'm going to attach these pieces with my mini attacher. You can use glue as well. And I just realized I'm actually going to add foam tape to this one. Um, which I'm running out of here. Let's hope it's enough for this piece right here. So some of the other things that I have out are buttons. Um, I think I said washi tape already. Different die cuts and stickers. I really like to just pull out a ton when I'm making these so that I have everything in front of me. So there we go. Definitely like that. And then we were using the ink for the color. I'm just using an orange color that I have. Sometimes I like to do black. I think that this just gives it some more dimension and just adds a little bit more to the embellishments, a little bit more uniqueness because, you know, you can get embellishments in the store and things, but adding little personal touches like this are the things that's going to really make them look homemade, I think. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. Um, and you could totally leave this just like so. Like I seriously didn't even think about this. But I'm going to add some little enamel dots. Let's see. Should add one there and one there. I'm trying to think if I want to add anything more but I think we're good. I think I'm going to leave this one like so, and then we can just continue making a couple together. Okay, so wasn't that, good? wasn't that easy, guys? I have so much fun making these, and I'm going to say it just, it really helps to have everything out and ready to go. So one of my favorite types of embellishments to make is on a doily. I don't know why, I just really, really like it. It is a lot bigger, so it's not going to work for every type of project, but for me, I feel like I reach for these a lot, and I, I just love making them. So I definitely want to add something like that. For this one, I think I'm going to actually add some lace, and so we'll just take some lace here. And I know this is kind of a long video, but I just really wanted to show you guys kind of my whole process for making these embellishments. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to talk like while I'm doing stuff, but bear with me. Okay. So we could go like that. And right now I'm not really paying attention to my list because like I said, those are just kind of guidelines but I probably mostly have everything here that like I was talking about. So I have these little wreaths, little wreaths that I may mix in here. And 
I also really like working with circles. Like I think most of the time I end up picking a circle for my main part. Okay. And these little sentiments that I cut out are seriously just so perfect for these embellishments. They are great. Okay. So, this one's pretty thick. Where did my mini attacher go? Oh, just right there. And sometimes I'll have to add glue. Oh, you know what? I think I have like 50 doilies here. Maybe not. All right, we're just gonna go with it. I don't know. I think there's definitely more than one. So we will just add one here and one here and we're out of staples. So when I'm using stickles, I just like to add some and then kind of mix, um, kind of rub it in with my finger. I don't really like it too thick, so. There we go, very cute. And I honestly like adding ink so much that I'm going to add ink just a little bit around the edges here. So for the next, I'm going to make my little embellishment on a tag. And I think I might have already, maybe I didn't mention, don't overthink this, just grab stuff. I probably did mention that because I feel like that's kind of a big thing that I like to follow because I think for a lot of projects, I do overthink what I'm doing. So it's just kind of nice to just grab and pull things. And I don't know, I just feel like they always end up looking really great. Okay, I love using this tool. Um, let's see. We'll just fold that in half there. And also don't be afraid if you, so if you're making a ton of embellishments and you find that you really like a certain die cut that you're using or you really like a certain shape that you're using, don't be afraid to be repetitive with that. I think it's totally okay to just keep making a ton of the same style. Um, you know, I don't know. That's probably just a weird tip, but sometimes I'm like, oh crap, I need these to all be like really different or something like that. But I don't know. I mean, unless you're needing it to be different for a certain project, then sure. But Okay, so I have this little sentiment that says blessings, and since it's really small, I want to try and grab a piece of paper that it will show up on better. Oh, I like that kind of, but that's too small. So I like how I give you guys tips, like don't overthink it, and then here I am like definitely overthinking it, but that's okay. Make this here. And so yeah, I really hope that this kind of helps you guys out, and I hope that you got some ideas from it. I think these are so much fun to make. And even another tip is what I think kind of sets these apart from any other theme, such as like summer or Christmas or what makes these fall is just the color palette that I'm using. So when I was cutting out my punches, I basically made sure to choose from a bunch of different papers that I think go together so that when you are kind of grabbing and picking like everything's going to go together because you have colors that you at least like together. So there we go. There's that one kind of different. Okay, I lied. I'm actually going to do one more with you guys cuz I thought this one's kind of different. So I have these leaves here from Michaels. They came in a pack and I thought it would be fun to kind of build an embellishment on top of this. Now I am going to use a circle card for the actual base just to give it a little bit more because these are pretty flimsy. So there we already have two different shapes and for a different texture to go on top of this, I am thinking we will add some of these little rhinestones. And then for a sentiment, again, I'm just gonna pull from this little thing right here. This one says nature's palette, which, hey, that actually goes pretty well. Okay, so. So I think I'm just gonna start out by stapling these down like so, and then I will add to this. I feel like there's a lot going on with this one for sure. 
but I like it. And I'm using green staples inside my mini attacher, which is fun. There we go. Um, I think I will add, I have these little flowers that I made up just with little punches that, little flower punches, I'll show you closer up. Just teeny little flowers, just kind of layered. And I'll put that right there. And then to add some color to this one, I'm just going to use these little Nouveau drops. And I'm just gonna do a couple little drops right here. I usually like to do one smaller than the other, and then the next one a little bigger. Kind of like if I were choosing enamel dots. So there we go, that one's different. This is not, not dry yet, but that will eventually stick. There, that's pretty different. And one more thing that I really like to use for a texture is gold thread. You can see here how I used the gold thread just behind a few of the pieces on here, and it just gives it some more texture. So I'm going to keep making these and I will show you the finished products next.